So my question is this, really. Um, where does pedagogy sit in all of this? It's not a fashionable word. If you're in uh, Germany, there's a word for it, and that's fine. And if you're in uh, the States, uh, there's a synonym for it that comes loaded with other things, normally referred to as instructional design, but there's a concept. In uh, English, and probably British education, actually, it's not a fashionable word. Uh, in fact, some people have a sort of glazing over the eyes, don't they, if you use the P word. Is that good? Is it interesting? Is it bad? I really don't know about the semantics of the actual word, but I know that Guy and I feel increasingly confidently able to say that the things that are described and encompassed by pedagogy really matter. And by pedagogy, we mean the uh, art and science and craft of all the daily interactions that take place that you as the teacher are orchestrating. That includes what you're doing, so teacher methods, that's fairly old hat. Also include what the young people are doing, so their role in this act, in this drama. And also include the culture in which all of this sits. Back to the very helpful set of challenging questions that Guy was asking us earlier on. So before you can get to pedagogy, or whatever synonym you want to use for it, you've got to answer the exam <coughs> questions that Guy was posing. You've got, I believe, to ask yourself, what are the valued outcomes here? You're maybe not asking about the whole education system because you're thinking about my lesson, or my course, or my year's experience, or my key stage whatever. You're thinking in those sorts of terms. It comes with the related question, what dispositions am I trying to cultivate here at the same time as I'm teaching history, as Guy was uh, explaining earlier on. And then, of course, there's the question, you can't even answer the pedagogy question yet until you've answered all of these, what, what, what do I know about my learners? You know, what are they fronting up to me with? What, what, what's their prior experience? What are my assumptions about that? How am I knowing what their prior experience and what they bring to the party? Do I ask them? Do I, what, 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 what's that about? And all the rest of the cultural um, stuff they bring with them to my lesson. Uh, and then also there's a look around, isn't there, in both the physical sense, what resources, what, what do they afford me, the, the physical spaces, but also the other adults and the equipment and the level of resourcing that my, my educational institution has. Yeah, those are all kind of, that's, that's, that's got to be attended to, hasn't it, before you can get to, okay, so what am I going to do then? 